What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to record yourself on screen when you're capturing either gameplay or um, tutorial videos, all that good stuff. And then what you can also do with this is have yourself as the main screen like we do now. Of course you can see me inside a program but this will change in a second and you can have your screen like in the corner if you want to just show somebody what to press and what to do. Now we're going to be using video proc so if you want to download video proc please use the link in the description below they have some amazing sales all the time so you can get a really good price on the full version now let's get straight into the video if you enjoy it hit the like button hit that subscribe button to show some support for the channel and hit the little notification bell so right now i just wanted to show you the footage of me using video proc because i couldn't record the video itself which you're going to see next using video proc and switching the settings at the same time because it makes you stop the recording if you want to switch stuff so i'm having to use a third party program to record the main part of the video but i just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like from video proc so this is actually from video proc this is me editing the video you're going to watch so as you see i've left the gap here for these clips to go in and of course i've got everything else now the clicks you can see a big circle where i'm clicking on the screen there we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video but i just wanted to show you another cool thing about this is you can switch it where i am going to be the big image and the uh, window that you see here is going to be the small image which i'll show you right now so of course right now it's switched so it's really simple easy to do as i say i just wanted to show you it live from video proc and then the rest of the video now is going to be me recording video proc via a third party software because i couldn't produce the video at the same time as recording it if that makes any sense at all i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and let's get straight into it so now to start with what we're going to do is go into video proc and click recorder it's really simple easy to do there's only four options when you open video proc now we have covered other tutorials so if you want to go and watch those they'll be linked in the description below as well or just head over to my channel and watch them there now for this there's multiple options of what you can do in terms of how you can record right now we're recording webcam only which is just here you can choose just to record your screen so that basically is just the screen behind so the desktop or you can choose to record with screen while showing the face cam which is what you're going to probably do if you're doing like a tutorial and stuff like that so if we select that you'll see now i'm in the bottom corner here so you can make this as big and as small as you like you can place it anywhere you want now placement is completely up to you but there is some cool options I want to just go over, which I can't fully show you because I don't use a green screen. However, there are some really good functions of this video pro program. One of those is remove the webcam background. So if I make it bigger just for this, just for the purposes of this, if you click remove background, because my background isn't a green screen and it's all different colors you can see, it's not gonna pick up as a set color. However, the color value is picked up as like a grayish color because of this dark area here so if you can see the dark area that's what it's trying to pick up so when you click remove you can click like fine tune it as much as you like so it will remove anything uh, gray but of course with me with no um green screen it's not going to work the best anyway so you're going to have to do this if you have a green screen and it will literally remove any background that you have so it's really good if you're that type of streamer or you're that type of content creator where you want to have something else or you just want to be yourself on the screen rather than a box around it now as i say you can make this as big put it wherever you want another cool feature about this is you can actually have your webcam as the main function and have your window capture as the little square box so by doing this you just click screen and webcam and then you can put record webcam while showing screen so now i'm the big image and my screen is the small image so if we move it off back on you can see it's basically my screen behind so let's just open something so you can see it see me dragging it along here 
So I think that's pretty cool and pretty helpful if you're doing a tutorial or something like that where you just want to say, hey, click this or click that. Even if you're doing like an advert, say someone sponsored your video and you want to discuss it, but you also want to show them clicking on the website or clicking some products, scrolling through something, this is really going to be helpful for you. Now, honestly, you can crop, you can do all of these different settings. I'm not really going to play around with the settings on the video. But honestly, you just need to get stuck in with video proc. It's the simplest thing I've ever seen done ever. Now, for me to do it, you can use Streamlabs and stuff like that. But the, here, you don't even have to set up all of the different layers and all that good stuff. It's automatic. It just sets it up itself. So in the settings under recorder, you pick your quality. You know, you want high quality, MP4. You know, you got your audio device, your mic. Obviously, make sure you pick your right mic. The encoder, always have it as hardware NVENC. I think if you've got AMD, it will just come up as AMD. Camera device. Well, I have mine linked to my CamLink 4K, which is from Algato. So you just select that. If it's something else, you pick something else. Simple, you can, you can set hotkeys. So you can just press, say, F1, and it will start and stop recording, which is easy so you don't have to keep cutting your footage when, oh, and you're going to end it, so you have to go down and press end, and it'll go here, and then you're looking away, and you have to cut at the right moment. Really simple and easy to do. You can also choose to whether to show the mouse in the, in the recording, because you might not want to show the mouse, okay? You can choose to show clicks, so if you click, it will highlight that you've clicked. So you can show people exactly what you're pressing, especially if it's something like Photoshop or something like that. You're going to get a really good uh, impact when you click something so people will know exactly what to press. And then, of course, you got show key in recording. You don't really want that. And a show a countdown. You don't really want that either unless you actually want a countdown on here. Now, apart from this, all the other settings are pretty much generic. When you first start video proc it will load up a hardware acceleration and it will basically just configure everything to your computer so it will bring in all the gpu uh, data or the cpu data and kind of tell you what settings they think you should have so you can pick that you know nvidia intel amd all that good stuff so you can literally just select yes i want this or no hold on i want to run it from my cpu rather than my gpu i don't know why you'd want to do that but hey so you can have a lot of options and it does a lot of it automatically for you. You can also change that if you like. Of course, then you're going to want to pick your output folders. Where does the video, where does the video go when you've recorded it? You know, you need to be able to find your folders. DVD, we're going to skip past that because we're not going to go into that in this video. And then the downloader is just like a YouTube downloader. So you get a link, you can record, uh, download a video or download just the music from the video. Um, for free so it's really simple easy to do this is what i use for my music especially like copyright free music that i want to use i just search for that on youtube um, and then just basically use it in the videos so it's really easy to do i would just say make sure you got your recording quality on high you know it's going to give you a good quality and then obviously make sure it's on hardware and bank unless you really can't do it for your gpu so then you'd have to pick x264 so in my opinion really don't want to use x264 i never use it on any program always the hardware so to go live on it it's really simple all you have to do is press record now when you press record a big screen will come up and it will usually just tell you how to stop the recording because i've already pressed it it's how it wouldn't tell me now because i already know how to stop it so this is now recording my screen and the program is open in the bottom corner here so if I open it back up again, you can see that I'm actually recording right now this screen. When you click stop, it will come into this panel here. And this is where you can choose whether to delete it. You can um, choose what to do with this video. You can also go and look at the folder that it's in. So if you want just this clip of it, so I've got two clips here. If I want just to find this clip, you click it and it will take you to exactly that clip. So you know if you've got a lot of clips going on here, you know that you can do uh, what you want with the right clip so you don't want to have to keep scrolling through all of your others now it's really easy and simple to use you know how to use it now i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button and if you want to see anything else to do with video prop please let me know in the comment section below take care everybody and i'll see you all in the next video let's go